Wrestling fans, we are here at Catania, the TBA Arena in Puerto Rico. The Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, taking on the invader number three, World's Junior Heavyweight Champion. And it started hot, Bobby. I'll tell you right now, invader number one and invader number three had an argument about who was going to wrestle Manny Fernandez. As you can see, invader three, he's in there fighting, brother. Okay, Bobby, like usual, you were a little bit wrong in a couple of your comments. This man, I'm never wrong. Raging Bull, was supposed to fight an unknown opponent. He called him because he was not a ranked wrestler. He said, let me wrestle with somebody like Carlos Colon or the Invader. Well, the Invader one came out. He did not want to wrestle with the Invader one, but Invader three took the challenge. Okay, so let's this just is watch what happens. I told you I was right in what I said, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, if you did not know, a very good friend of Hackman Bobby Jaggers in San Antonio, in Texas. You were roommates? We, we were good friends. We rode up and down the road together. We were tag team partners. And I'll tell you something right now. And the you raging... were a lot of brawls together. That's and you right. both injured a lot of people also. That's right. We put San a lot Antonio. of them in the hospital. And the Raging Bull is still carrying on, Daddy. He's doing what he got to do best. He's making headlines, baby. He's hurting people and putting them in the hospital. Well, to mention a couple of the names, uh, the Jaggers was associated in San Antonio, Kelly Blanchard and Raging Bull Manny Fernandez. That's right. Al Perez, the Sheep Herders. A lot of great names come out of San Antonio, Texas. Okay, the Invader 3 went in the ring. Raging Bull Fernandez wanted competition. The world's junior heavyweight champion of the World Wrestling Council says, I'll take you on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful side suplex right there. The Raging Bull went the, the head went down That's to right. the mat. That's right. What a lot of people, oh no. What a lot of people don't realize, Manny Fernandez is an excellent, excellent amateur wrestler before he was a professional wrestler, was an excellent football player before he was a professional good wrestler. Good boxer also. And he also, he, yeah, he handles the Dukes pretty good, brother. His problem, a crazy individual. No respect for life, no respect for nobody. And you know that, Bobby. That's right, the Raging guess, Bull don't give a damn about nothing, baby. I guess you can say that the Raging Bull does what he wants, whenever he wants, and you could never tell if it's coming or going. That's right, the Raging Bull, baby, the holder of more championship belts in professional wrestling than any other wrestler. Well, I will not back up that statement. Well, I will, because with half the belts he's had, I was on the other half of them. Uh... Well, there's a reason why you might come up with a statement like that. Well, I'll tell you something. What I'm looking forward to right now, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm looking forward to the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, crippling the invader number three. I'm looking forward to finishing this match, and then I want to get out of here, Bobby, because you are really hurting me. My oh, well, ulcers your in pain. Is, yeah, your ulcers. Yeah, you know I got those ulcers, don't you? They're from worrying. You are always worried if you're going to get beat or not. You worry me, Bobby. Right we'll there, take a down beautiful, my... beautiful side headlock takedown, Hugo Savinovich. Uh, Something you never could do when you wrestled, you know. We would like to take this opportunity in the name of ENG Productions, Bobby Jaggers, myself, Capital Sports Promotions, of thanking all you beautiful people for buying this video cassette. And there's plenty more action when you see the signature of ENG Productions backed by the War Wrestling Council on Capital Sports. You're in for the best in professional wrestling. That's right. And for all you girls and sororities out there, I can be uh, over for wrestling parties also for video viewing parties. Yeah, and if you invite him there, please beat him up for me. Now, Thank Hugo, you. you don't even want to say that. Now, look at Manny Fernandez right here. Has, now, look, at there's the kind of guy this guy is. He starts beating on him. A lot of scars on the forehead. I guess he doesn't have that many friends, believe, Mr. Jaggers. Believe me, Manny Fernandez, he's got a scars all over his body. There's a few people that beat him up pretty bad. Okay, in Spanish, he's known as El Toro Salvaje, the Raging Bull, and he has always lived up to that name. That's right, he's perpetual motion and he's good action, baby, and he's a good wrestler. Good move by the Invader 3, he is fast, and also the Raging Bull, look at this move. Oh, he missed. Yes, yes. That's the only problem with scientific aerial wrestling. You could win a lot of matches, but when you least expect it, you could make that mistake and it could cost you. In layman turns, ladies and gentlemen, what goes up comes down. <laughs> himself hard. Now watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Manny Fernandez, 275 pounds off the top rope onto the chest area, the sternum of Invader number three. All right, directly on the chest area. 
like you said, 275 pounds, and Invader 3 is in pain. And he is seriously is hurt. Injured, severely he is injured. injured. Ricky Rodriguez wants to stop him. Look, the blood is just coming up like showers. The man has been severely injured. His cavity, his stomach area has been ruptured, as you can see. Manny Fernandez is not done yet, oh. ladies and gentlemen. And Manny Fernandez is going up to put this man out of wrestling permanently. The Raging Bull finds the target. Three times, ladies and gentlemen. 270 pounds off the top rope onto the chest and stomach area of Invader number three. There you see Invader number one, TNT, Miguelito Perez, the Young Bloods, Hurricane Castillo Jr. Everybody, so everybody is the so fans worried. Screaming. The wrestlers are wearing Invader three in a sea of world of blood and this Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, did you see the way he raised his hands in, in a very happy, victorious manner, not concerned at all with what happened to the invader number three? And Manny Fernandez. Oh, look at that. Oh, Manny Fernandez has just done what he came to Puerto Rico to accomplish. He came here to get everybody's attention, and I'll believe something that Hugo Savinovich, right now, he has got everybody's attention. Look at the blood in the ring. This, this man is severely injured. Internal bleeding by the Invader 3. The wrestlers are worried. The stretcher. They aren't even waiting for a stretcher. They're not waiting for an ambulance. They're taking him by private car to the nearest hospital. This is how severely this man was injured. They could not even wait for an ambulance. We're going to follow the wrestlers. Taking Invader number three outside the TV arena. This is in Catania, Puerto Rico. Fans are screaming, they're crying. And Invader three, it's taken As you into see, the car. They're taking him to a private car because they can't wait. They cannot wait for an ambulance or any delays. They do not, they know he's severely injured, but they do not know the extent of his injuries. Well, fans, after this match, the Embedded 3 was put out of professional wrestling for a period of four months. Then he returned to professional wrestling. More about the Embedded 3 on the next tapes of ENG Pro 